What's up guys? Hey, wanted to make a quick video today because this is just too juicy. I have to share it. Unbelievably, the Democrats are just full on in civil war and let me show you what I'm talking about. So in all the hubbub to get rid of Joe Biden, the Obamas have been pushing this hard. Them, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, they've all been conspiring to get rid of Joe since the debate. And it's just been growing and growing in momentum, especially since the assassination attempt on Trump failed. And they knew that's going to galvanize Trump's support, which it definitely has. And we're still just going to see more of that coming in as the RNC uh, happened. And it was a wonderful RNC, one of the best conventions maybe ever in political history. Trump's speech was great, so on and so forth. That is going to gain Trump in the lead, which he's already got a substantial lead, and they are freaking out. So they're trying to push Joe out, and there's been a lot of talk. Will they replace him with Clinton? Will they replace him with Michelle Obama? Will they replace him with Kamala, which was probably the most likely scenario? All this talk's going on. And meanwhile, MSNBC, of all places, has just reported that the Clintons have been meeting with the Bidens, <laughs> convincing them to stay in. Now, I don't think you guys understand how juicy and delicious this is because Clinton and Obama have hated each other since 2008. Hillary Clinton blames Obama for stealing her best chance at the presidency because any Democrat was going to win in 08 after what Bush did to the Republicans. It was a it was a shoe in. That was her best chance. And then Obama came in and stole it from her. So she has always resented Obama for this. And deep down, they've always hated each other, which is another reason he got rid of her uh, halfway through his presidency and replaced her. And then she ran 16 and lost. And so there's a lot of bitterness there, but they've held it together to just keep friendly faces on and all that. But now it's finally turning on them because they, the Clintons, see an opportunity here. And you can always trust old Hillary and Bill. Hey, Hillary, do you, do you think we can get back into that presidency? Bill, I'm working on it. This is what's going on right now. They see an opportunity through Biden's weakness to... <laughs> A subterfuge under Obama because Obama's been the the leader of the Democratic Party now ever since he won in 08 and the Clintons resent, resent him for it. Hillary, it was always supposed to be Hillary. Remember that. It's always supposed to be her. And so she's pissed and now they see a chance to get it back at the Obamas and now it is full out Democrat war. Here we go right here. After reports, the former President Barack Obama has been helping to lead the effort to push President Biden out. A blockbuster new report by MSNBC states the former President Bill Clinton and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton are privately supporting Biden behind the scenes, even helping to try and coerce donors and is staying with Biden until the end. Is the Democratic Party falling apart of the scenes? The answer is yes. Here's the, the report. We're breaking news, in fact, on the Biden campaign. So, Ali, in this last hour, we're learning the president is securing more high profile support from to stay in the race but more can you tell us about that yeah, Alex, we're learning from sources familiar with the thinking of former President uh, Bill Clinton, as well as former Secretary of State and Democratic nominee herself, Hillary Clinton, uh, that they are being privately supportive of President Biden's decision to stay in this race. Even no, privately because they no, they, if they went public with this, it was going to be an issue. Now, do I trust MSNBC? Usually, no, not even as far as I could throw them. But this time I trust it, and here's why. Because they have no incentive to push this. They don't. The media has been pushing for Biden to come out. The media is on Obama's side. And the only reason they're pushing this is because it's got to be true and they need to expose the Clintons and get them in trouble and turn people against them. But all this is doing is ripping apart the Democratic Party. We're talking about the two strongest factions in the Democratic Party. They're two greatest leaders. The Clintons and the Obamas of the last 30 years are now at odds with each other and you gotta know this is pissing Barack Obama off this is getting him so angry Nancy Pelosi all that because the Clintons are always you can always count on them to serve their own interests first and Hillary wants that back in another tweet right here NBC reported Hillary and Bill Clinton have been secretly supporting Biden's decision to stay in the presidential race, have been actively encouraging and influencing donors to stay with him until the end. <laughs> and here they are pleading with Katzenberg and all the big donors just trying to keep that money in that race. And I, I have a 
feeling here there's a deal being made. Hillary knows Biden's going to die, okay, or have to leave the presidency. So they're going to try and get the Democrats to full in behind Joe, come all the way back in, and then she's either going to jump into uh, his place at the convention or or she's going to put the full weight of everything behind him, try to get him back elected and try to steal his election, quite frankly, because they just can't win at this point the way Trump's performing. But try to steal this election and then be VP. And that's how Clinton comes back in. This is her chance at the presidency. And the fact that she's fighting Obama right here, that, that's going to rip them apart. It's going to absolutely rip them apart. We have here Clint's privately support Biden decision to stay in race. <laughs> I don't believe any of the reporting on Biden, but the thought of the Clintons doing this to stick it to Obama world is amusing. Uh, <laughs> I just It's so funny. I agree with this. Absolutely nothing's funnier than Bernie, AOC, and the squad allying with the Clintons and the CBC behind Biden to fight against Obama, Pelosi, Hollywood, put Chuck Schumer in there. Isn't that hilarious? Bernie and AOC now are coming into this as well in the squad. The the Democrats are picking sides. This is civil war. The the party is falling apart and everybody now is trying to figure this out cuz he he is so weak that everybody now has got their own idea of what's best for them and how they maintain power. And instead of coming up with a unifying strategy, this makes sense why we've gotten so many uh, reports that haven't come true lately. Like the report that Biden was going to drop out this weekend. I think that was a, a planted story by the Obamas. They thought they had him there. And it's the Clintons coming in. And that's, there's a reason Joe keeps coming out and saying, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. <laughs> He's just like, come on, man. I ain't going nowhere. Because the Clintons, maybe this whole time even, have been pushing him to stay in. This just gets more interesting by the day. This will rip them apart. This will absolutely rip them apart. And here, uh, Biden is more than happy to do it because he's pissed at Obama. And here's a story from the other day. In privately railing about Mr. Obama and even aides to former Clinton, Biden has made clear he finds it particularly rich. The architects of historic Democratic losses in 94 and 2010 midterm elections would be lecturing him over how to save the party after he presided over better than expected midterm in 2022. While one person said Mr. Biden is not irked at Clinton himself because they're all buddy-buddy right now, others said Mr. Obama is another story. Biden, and you, you better believe Jill's behind this, they are turning on the Obamas. And now Obama's been the most powerful person in the Democratic Party for a long time. You know he's running things. But this is mutiny. Biden has determined that he's sick of it. And since he sits in the president's seat, or Jill, whoever's making these decisions, since they sit in the president's seat, even though Obama's been the leader of the Democratic Party, Biden's saying, nope, I'm staging a coup because you can't push me out. I don't want to be pushed out. And the Clintons are pushing it even more. <laughs> now, Alex Jones is out there saying Clinton's going to replace Biden as a Democratic nominee. I could see this happening one way, that by supporting Biden and coming in and being their best friend, Hillary's positioning herself to get his blessing. And so he will peacefully appoint her and endorse her. That could be one way this goes. The other way this goes is they put all their efforts between behind him getting elected again, and then she comes up as a new VP or something like that. There's going to be a way. Hillary, you better believe, is positioning herself here to take over the presidency and the Democratic Party, and it's, it's just beautiful to watch because the Obamas don't want none of this. Neither do Pelosi, Schumer, any of them. They don't want any of this and so it's it's just it's coming apart at the seams it's absolutely coming apart at the seams and now if biden endorses hillary um it's going to be interesting because they'll lose that campaign money uh kamala obviously is going to be irked but it's going to split the democrats the they have one chance biden is polling better than any other democrat right now and that's just a fact. Newsom, Whitmer, Michelle Obama, they don't have a chance. And I don't think Hillary has a chance, quite frankly, either. I think she'd do worse than Joe, which is why I think they might be actually plotting to get behind the Bidens, try to get them back in, and then Hillary and Bill take over from there. We'll see what happens. But this 
is extremely spicy. I'm loving every minute of it. This is the best. It, it just, this election season's crazy. So many crazy things are still yet to happen. It's just getting wilder by the minute. But right now, this is great, hilarious news. And I just had to share with you guys because uh, it's pretty unbelievable how this is all going. Anyways, God bless you guys. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.